Hi, in this screencast I'm going to quickly show you how to get C sound and Qt C sound for your platform. The easiest way to get C sound is visiting the C sound uh, page at SourceForge at csound.sourceforge.net. There you'll find uh, some basic information about C sound and a downloads section where you can choose uh, some selected releases for uh, different platforms. For example, 5.12 for OS X 10.5, 5.11 for Windows, 5.12 for Linux. This is, of course, a source release for Linux. If your platform is not listed, you will have to go to the SourceForge uh, files page for the CSound project. There's a link here, and the address is sourceforge.net slash project slash CSound slash files. There you'll find all the file releases from the CSound project. If you look at one of them, let's look at 5.12, you will find a long list of files there and you'll find uh, different packages for different platforms like 10.4 Universal, 10.4 Intel and uh, a couple of uh, manual packages in different formats, PDF, uh, HTML uh, and uh, A4 in French. Uh, you will find also uh, CSound uh, sources in a compressed package. And of course, you might notice that there's no Windows uh, version for uh, 5.12. So let's see what's in 5.11. Here you can see there's a version for Windows as it ends in X. It's, uh, it's an installer. Uh, the key thing here is that for Windows, you have two separate versions of C sound. There's one uh, marked with an F, which is a floats C sound, and D marked uh, file which is the doubles version. This is a higher precision uh, mixing engine and processing engine. Um, but the important thing that you need to know is which one you've downloaded. Usually I'd recommend getting the floats version, uh, which is what, what most front ends are, are compiled against. When you get to know the system, you, you can get uh, the doubles version. So when you've, once you've got C sound and installed C sound, uh, you should go to get Qt C sound. Although uh, Qt C sound is bundled with uh, C sound, um, Qt Sound is released uh, more frequently, so there might be a more recent version than the one you get with C Sound. So go along to qtcsound.sourceforge.net to see what's available. Go to the download section, and again you'll need, you'll need to visit the SourceForge download page at sourceforge.net slash projects slash Qt Sound slash files. And there you'll see the latest releases. For example, the latest is 0.6.0. .0. And you will find their packages both both for floats and doubles uh, for Windows. You'll find a universal version for OS X. Um, and it's important to bear in mind for uh, OS X, you have three separate packages. One called NoQt, one called InQt, and one called Full. The NoQt uh, is the smallest package of them all. It only includes Qt C sound and assumes you've got Qt installed. And this is Qt from Nokia, not uh, the QuickTime. Uh, media libraries. Usually we will got, want to get this one, the Ink Qt package, which has Qt bundled inside but requires C sound already installed in your machine. There's an experimental version called the uh, full version which bundles C sound inside. However, this is less this is less tested, so if you try it and uh, find something that's not working, please report it. You will also find uh, the source version for the other platforms. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.